Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pentiment. So it's been about 5 days since the last uh, video, and I apologize for the delay. I actually had to go away for about one week. I left on Wednesday, but I decided to pre-record and upload at least one video before I leave, so I won't leave you for one entire week without any video uploads. So I uh, pre-recorded and uploaded the new video on Tuesday, and set it so that YouTube will publish it on Friday, I think. But now, in the last episode, uh, so we had this very awkward supper, where Lawrence Rathvogel wanted to talk about uh, Martin Luther and, and his new teachings, but considering how these uh, monks here are devoted Catholics, they were not exactly very big fans of Martin Luther or his teachings. And so things uh, escalated a bit from there, and the Baron decided to just uh, leave the dining hall, because things were so awkward there. And now we are leaving as well, it's very late, and we are about to go back to our host family, the Gertners, I, I think was their name. So without further ado, let's get back. Hmm. Hmm. There is a there's a lamp still burning in the guest in the guest house. Lorenz must still be awake. I wonder how he's doing. Okay, so that's where he's staying. And what was and what was he thinking? He's a baron, but he couldn't have expected him that and that to go well. The storm doesn't seem to be letting up any time soon. I should get back to the garden gardeners. I was thinking that can we go and try and talk to the baron? I guess we can try. Can you? Uh, I'm clicking on the lock symbol here, but I guess it just means that the door is locked. But can't we try and knock? Well, I guess it is late, so let's just let's just go back to Gardeners. Huh? What now? Go! Are you all right, Master Muller? I believe that I may have just seen the physical manifestation of a spirit. Did, did you see that in the aqueduct? Yeah, I believe that we just saw a ghost. The ghost? Yes. It could be a Roman, maybe even an old pagan. Wouldn't be the first time people have seen ghosts around these parts. Interesting. I don't think it was a ghost. Have you ever seen one? Mm-hmm. Usually, usually around the ruins. Who knows how many restless Romans lie beneath those stones. Interesting. Well, I think I found Johan's last lost sheep. I'm go. I'm going to head home. Johan, he was the annoying brat, right? Oh wait, no, he's a entire another person that we haven't met yet. Take care, Master Muller. I will thank you till you too. Thank you, Phil. Okay, so now we are seeing ghosts. Hmm? Irises, beautiful. Hmm, okay. Forest. Well, let's not let's not go to the forest. Uh, snowdrops. One of the only flowers that can bloom this early spring at this altitude. Mill. And what is this? A shrine to Saint Moritz, and the statue looks ancient. Well, what's left of it? Only the feet. Mill? Uh, no, we are going to the... More plants. Ah, Columbine. Looks like it's coming in early. Ah, no! Emily. Uh, did we come back to the Abbey? Oh wait, this is the town, never mind. Pale horse, pale horse, still on the floor. Uh, hello, are you alright in there? Matins, Matins, the pale horse, death. Matins. Monastic hour corresponding to 2 a.m. It is used for the night prayer. Okay. Oh, hi. Uh, whatever your name was, Thomas. 
Sister, listen to my voice. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes. Yes, father, I hear you. Am I here? Is this now? Yes, you are with us. And this is now. I apologize, Andreas. I imagine that must have been quite alarming. Is she alright? That sounded like she was having an... ...aesthetic vision. Your knowledge surprises me, Andreas. Though the Baron did say you were an educated man. But yeah, Sister Emily is, uh, is a mystic, gifted with visions when God sees fit to uh, give her one. Some are more frightening than others. Or she's just mentally ill, just saying. What is she doing there? Does she live in the church? She lives there, yes. I'm a little surprised you haven't noticed her before. If you came to Mass more often, you would see that I give her commun... I give her communion through a window to her to her cell. Commu commu communion, is that how you pronounce it? Oh, is she an anchoress? I don't know what they mean by anchoress. Or what is or what what is it? Yeah, uh, she is, yes. Devoted to God. Enclosed in the encl enclosed in the cells next to the church. Cells. She is dead to the world but continues a life of prayer and religious contemplation. And sometimes, ever so rarely, she, re she receives great and terrible visions. So she's basically isolated from the rest of the uh, community, rest of the village. Is she local to Tassing or was she a nun at Kiersau? Okay, so Tassing is the region where we are living right now, and Kiersau is the, is the abbey. Neither. She came here from a Benedictine abbey in Lower Bavaria after I after it burned down. <laughs> I almost said after I burned it down. Damn, dude. I am here. I am her confessor and caretaker. Many anchoresses are not literate. I write down her visions to help in interpret them. Interpret them. Yeah. I thought all of the monks and nuns at Kiersau could read. Even poor brother uh, Volkbert. That's a new name. We haven't seen him yet. Thank you, Father Thomas. I must rest now. Of course, sister. She seems unhappy. She is not unhappy, but she is in pain, both physical and spiritual. Her spiritual pain comes from her revelations. They come and go. I try to address them as best as I can. The physical pain comes from a deformity in her spine and acting in her joints. Deformity, you say? I know of no cure for that, save prayer to the Almighty. Sister Emily was saying she had a vision of death. Could someone be in danger? Oh no, don't uh, rush to judgment. Her visions are divine and powerful, but they could have many meanings. I sense foreshadow in here. Some of her revelations take years to comprehend. Some may never be understood at all, as God wills it. Still, the argument at dinner was quite troubling. Perhaps it has cast a shadow over our thoughts. Now then, the good sister appears to have fallen back to sleep. I must prepare for, uh, for bed myself. Good night, Andreas. Good night, father. All right, let's see if we get any any more distractions on, on our way back. Mail, Franz, Bauer and Widow Kemperin. Okay. Trucker house. Oh yeah, we we were supposed to have dinner with them, but we ended up going to the... We ended up joining with the Baron at the Abbey ourselves. Well, we can talk to them now. We must apologize uh, tomorrow, I guess. Okay, and this leads to... Oh wait, uh, not there. Zimmerman House. Okay. Johann Bauer Farm. Uh, was it over Gertner Farm? Yes. Is this still burning? 
Entry Schmitz as Smithy. It's so much smaller than the one he uses at the Abbey. Yes, we know who he is. We had lunch with him. As well as Otto, I think was the other guy's name. Okay. Let's go in and give them the... Oh, the old man is sleeping here. I was, I was about to say that let's give them the... Uh, the rent early, but I guess we can't just yet. They are sleeping. Okay, I guess we just go to sleep. Sleep. We have to check this already, haven't we? The Picatrix, Key of Solomon, the Heptam the Heptameron, Prior Ferenc keep keeps giving me all of these books to read. Okay. I really should clean this up. Well, let's just go to sleep. It's getting late. I should get some rest. Yeah, go to sleep. No point to stay awake. Oh, there's a leak here. That's not good. Couldn't you move this barrel uh, there a little bit? Time to get back to work. Okay, well, let's go and give them the rent. Wow! Ursula doesn't seem happy. Shh, it's alright, Ursula. Good morning, what happened? Good morning, do you need any help with Ursula? Well, what happened? A storm rolled in during the night. It hasn't held up all morning. Clara and I have been doing what we can in here to keep us all from washing away. Peter and York are outside, trying to deal with the flooding as best as they can. Oh my, is, it, uh, is the farm in danger? I certainly hope everything everything's alright at the Abbey. I, well, I think Abbey is fine. Is the farm in danger? There's always a danger with, with this much rain, but we have lived through worse. Whatever happens, it will be as God wills it. We must have faith in Providence and endure what is what is to come. Oh, I have some food for you. Oh, nice. Here, sorry I couldn't prepare anything more. Thank you, Otto wanted me to say hello, by the way. Thank you, I appreciate everything you, you do, it's sweet. Did it not to ask me? Did it not to ask me to say hello? He's probably courting her. Then be a good friend to him and just tell her. So what? They're not married, are they? Neither are you. Yet. Why not test the waters? <laughs> hmm. I'm kinda tempted to go go with this option. Just to see what happens. I mean I I did this I did decide to go with the hedonist uh, path and kind and which also kind of implies that we also try to hit on women. But at the same time, we also promised him that we would that we would uh, that we would tell her hello. Then be a good friend and just tell her. They would probably be happy together. But, well, okay, fine. Thank you. Otto wanted me to say hello, by the way. Oh, he did? Haha. <laughs> hmm. Good. Thank you. Have a good day at the Abbey, Andreas. Try to stay dry. Thanks. You too. Good luck. Oh, I didn't want to leave just yet, though. Well, that doesn't look good. Andreas. Are you doing alright, Peter? Oh, I didn't see that the wall was broken. Is that from the flood? Some storm, huh? Is it always like this? Well, the wall is, seems to be broken. It is. It must have broken in the night. Some some of our sheep escaped. We'll have to we'll have to track them down later. Again, those sheep. This is the way it always is. Rain falls on the abbey and rolls downhill to us little people. Well, it's hard to blame the abbey for that. That's just how rain works. There's a reason we are down here and they are up there, Andreas. Anyway, I have to get back to this. See you later. 
Okay. Storm in the morning. Now let's go inside real quick and talk to Clara. Hello, Andreas. Hello, Cl Clara. I have something for you. Oh. This should be enough uh, to pay my rent and that uh, and tax you owe the app in. Andreas, this is far more than your rent payment. We can accept this. Please, Clara, it's the least I can do. You and Peter have been such have been such gracious hosts. Consider the rest uh, consider the rest as, as consider the rest a gift then, in addition to my rent. I insist. Uh, it's enough to pay back the apple, yes? He who sows sparingly will also reap, reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Well, since we have this option, might as well, uh, t might as well take it. Oh, Andreas, thank you. But how did you even get so much, um, so much coin? Are you sure you'll have enough to spare? Well, you give, you give me a roof, a roof above my head and feed me, and also the abbey also. Uh, feeds me as well. So, what do we need? What do we even need money, money of our own for in this town anyway? If all the if all the necessities are are given to us anyway, anyway, don't worry about me, Cl Clara. I'll be fine. I convinced Brother Matthew to pay me a bit early. I wanted to be sure you could pay your taxes in time. God bless you a thousand times, Andreas. You don't know what this means to us. I'm happy to help, Clara. It's the Christian thing to do. It's it's probably best not to mention it. Of course, I won't mention it to anyone. Still, thank you. I'll let you move on with your day. God bless you. Until then. How is Ursula? Oh, she seems to be fine. She is so goddamn adorable. I can't. I just can't. Andre I love Ursula. She's so fucking cute. Okay, I guess we go this way. And then we go back to the Abbey. Hello, Andres. Hello, Andreas. Good morning, Andres. So, Otto and Eva, huh? Yes, what about them? Otto has a good eye, I can't fault him that. How is the courtship uh, developing? Doing fun, you think? Come now, tell me juicy details about what's going on between them. Well, Otto has a good eye. I guess. She's a good, strong-willed woman. I'm not a gossip, Andreas. Otto practic practically, Otto practically asked me to be his messenger. I'm only trying to understand how things stand. Did he really? Or did you just assume that that, or did you, or did you just assume the part all all on your own? You have started you have started picking up poor habits during your time in Tassing, Andreas. It can't be the gardeners. Peter is stern. Maybe the monks maybe the monks talk talk too much. Yeah, they kind of do. Well, if you ask me, I think Otto's been a bit too slow about it. Oh. He's old enough already not to be smitten like a boy. They both like each other, seems to me. If if you have found the right person, you should go for it. It's what I would do. What stopped you? Where is Mistress Smitten, if I may ask? Oh, uh, that's a private matter. You can trust me, Andris. Aren't we friends? I have an intended... Sabine waiting for me in Nuremberg. In Sabine, so that's our fiance's uh, name, or or possible a uh, uh, fiance candidate's name, I think. We are to marry once I have finished my uh, wander yare. Oh yeah, that's the wandering years. I'm not even sure if she is the right one, but it is a necessary step. It's not good for the soul to be alone, Andreas. I uh, do hope to find someone to have at my side as we uh, build a family. God has not given me this blessing. Worry not, it could happen at any moment, Andrus. It may not be as remarkable as people say. Well, worry not. One hopes so. 
Oh, I must get back to work, Andreas. Enough talk. Until later. Oh, great. Oh, wait, we can't... We can't walk there because there's... Because, because of this puddle of water. Because we don't want to get our wet... Uh, shoes wet. Well, can we... Go around it? Hmm, Alpan Bakery. Ah, more people. Earl Rick, and... I can't see her name. God be with you, Andreas. Seems like we have a good spring storm, though. I hope it... L I, I hope it lets up soon. Good morning. I'm sure it will be... I'm sure it will let up soon. Good morning. It's annoying. I have to walk all the way to the Abbey in this. Yeah, let's just say that. Complaining won't do, won't do you any good. Best to endure and have faith in God. Agnes. Ulrich. I I paid credit for last week's uh, pumpernickel. Sorry to make you wait for it. It's no trouble at all. Please say hello to Lucky for me. Lucky. Okay. Another guy. I guess that's a nickname, maybe. Of course. Now I'm off to a uh, home and then to the... Uh, Prefers, uh, papers, however you spell that. Good morning, Agnes. What's going on at the pa papers? Helena has about a month to go before her child is in child is due. Her last one was hard. He didn't make it. He didn't make it. God rest his soul. Much of the baby died. That's sad. I just want to give her the best chance she can have. It isn't. It is in God's hands. Uh, it is. It is in God's hands. Trust in providence. Always, Ulrich. But I'll do what I can to help. Why make the Lord do all the work? I must be off now. Good day to you both. And Andreas, stay out of the rain. Tell her. Tell Helen I will pray for her health. She will appreciate that, Andreas. Thank you. Until later. Until later, Agnes. Okay, uh, that's... Uh, Steinauer house. Pet Schlang. Can we pet it? Oh. Any game... Any game wh where you can where you can pet a cat or a dog must be a good game. Church and truckers, yeah, this way. Okay, well, can we knock on this door or something? No. I don't see any truckers around here, so I guess we have to talk to them later. Oh, that's lucky. And Thomas. Father, I have said this before, but but it isn't good that the that the water drains here so quickly. It's affecting the foundation. It needs to be looked at. I understand, but if you dig here, you may be disturbing the bodies decomposing in the yard. In the yard. Of course, Father, but they are going to be dug back up again anyway. Yes, yes, but why disturb them? Why disturb them unnecessarily? It's your church, Father, but you can't put this. Um, but you can't put this off forever. The foundation is going to crack. I understand. Perhaps after some of the bones have been removed, have been moved to the ossuaries. Thank you, Lucky. Hmm. Ah, good day, Master Muller. Good day, Father Thomas. Everything, everything, all right with the church. Oh yes, Lucky was again reminding me of the danger a severe rainfall can pose to the foundation. God looks after his flock, but sometimes the pen requires an earthly, ha earthly hand. It will be taken care of. God be with you, Andreas. And with you, Father Thomas. Until later. Okay, uh, maybe we should actually go here real quick. Just wondering if the... Hmm, now, oh, there's a dog now. Pet Staub. Okay, now first we pet first we petted a cat, now we can pet a dog. This this game is great. Oh, it's even 
giving us a handshake. I'm just wondering if there's any truckers around here, but apparently not. Roman ruins. Meadow. Well, let's just, let's just go and check, check it out real quick. Although there's mostly just an aqueduct. Oh, there's graffitis here. A child's drawings. I wonder who the... I wonder who the artist is. Well, it can't be Ursula. Collapsed. Now this must have... This must have allowed access to the aqueduct. Okay, nothing much else here. Okay. Well, let's just... Let's just go to the abbey before we get drenched. Uh, this way? Yes. Hi, Till. Hunty for sheep again. Hello there, Master Muller. Oh, I, I just heard in here. Hello, Till. Bumped into any ghosts lately? <laughs> no, not since we last spoke. Good, good. Have you ever seen a nicer view? Don't get don't get sites like this in the cities, I expect. I can't say that Nuremberg has any, has many Roman ruins, no. I could do without the mud on my shoes, but the aqueduct does make a nice silhouette. It's hard to believe the Romans built a town all the way out here, and we just let these structures fall apart. I, w I was wondering at what this what this uh, symbol is, uh, but I, I assume that it means that... I assume that this is the... This must be a symbol of education, because we used to study at the university, so this basically reflects our days at the university and the studies. It's hard to believe the Romans built a town all the way out here. Oh yes, the old Roman ruins. Tassing is full of them. Quite the marvels they are. I wonder if I wonder if there's still any Roman ruins uh, there today. I don't pay much mind to their writing on them, as I can't read Latin myself. But you might enjoy giving them a look. If you do, you have to tell me if they match the old legends I read about. What sort of old legends? I didn't know you could read. Well, what sort of legends? Well, when Father Matthias was ab was abbot, he would let me borrow books from the abbey's li li library. I think I read through half of that library before Father Gernot became abbot. He and Father Thomas are strict about which books uh, should, be should be read now. Books should uh, glorify God, they say, not discuss the old pagan ways. Still, the accounts of the Romans in Tassing are my favorite. That old book talked about how the Roman knight Gaius Metellus defeated the, uh, Righty, I think it was. Heavy snow snowfall had him caught in this very valley, barbarians on all sides, when Mars sent sent a wolf to the night. Mars, is that the god of war? Mars, the Roman god of war, so I was right. And agriculture. Mars represented civilization and peace through military might. Instead of killing the beast, Gaius followed it, followed it to a magical spring with trees covered in all sorts of fruit. Have we heard about this before? Mars provided the wolf and the spring, and Gaius Metellus founded, founded Tassing after defeating the barbarians to honor Mars. That's where all this came from. That sounds a lot like the story Brother Matthew told me about Saint Moritz without the Roman gods, of course. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about that. Hey, this story sounds familiar. Have you heard about this before? But I don't. Re but I don't recall anyone mentioning Mars before. I'm surprised that Kiersau has any record of Tassing before Saint Saint Moritz arrived. Well, that sounds a lot like the story Brother Matthew told me about, about Saint Moritz. Oh, I didn't want to click that. But if you want to read that, then pause here. Okay. I hadn't thought of that. Both were snowed into this uh, valley, weren't they? And saved near a spring. I wonder if it's the same story. Oh, I don't know about all that, Master Muller. A lot of a lot of stories get mixed up over the years. It might be all fable, but I enjoy the story all the same. 
It's nice to feel you are connected to those who came before you, even if it's only by the land you live on. Wise words, I feel the same. I would rather look forward to new opportunities, but I do see the value in looking back. To each, to each, to each his own, I suppose. It's been good chatting with you, Master Muller, but I would better get back to work. You let me know if you find any particularly good books in, the, in that library, alright? I will. Until later, Till. Maybe he would have liked that banned book that we tried to get from Mr. Illuminata. Hmm? Martin? Hey, Martin. Get a friendly greeting from Martin. Well, we have zero chances for zero chances uh, for that. Told Martin to help his family. Martin and and Martin ended the conversation. Mad at you? Yeah, there's zero chances. He, that he reply, his reply would, will be nice. Eat shit, Andreas. At you. Getting sick, I see. Don't get too sick. People can even die to fever <laughs> in this. Uh, uh, in in the early modern age or medi 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 medieval times. Practically almost any disease can kill you if it's not treated well. I should get to this scriptorium. Gernot will give me give me an earful if I'm late again. Mm, what's this? The figures in the in this shrine to Saint Christopher are quite nice. Saint Christopher, is that a new one? Saint Christopher, one of the fourteen holy helpers. Saint Christopher is invoked as protection against the plague and to safeguard travelers. He is often pictured as a large man with a staff carrying the child Jesus on his back across a swollen river. Okay. Well, let's get to the Abbey. That's uh, Baron Rothvogel says. Uh, uh, I was about to say square, but not. It's not a square. Let's just say or squire even. Square, squire. Well. Big Klaus. Well, let's talk to him anyway. God be with you, Andreas. Is God with us? Look at this rain. Are you still preparing to leave, even with this weather? <laughs> let's say this. I like this. Uh, rep I, 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 I like this reply. Is God with us? I mean, look at this rain. The weather is uh, the weather is unfortunate, but the Baron's wife, Lady Sa Salomia, will be arriving today. Ah, oh, she looks pretty. Lucky guy, I guess. My lord intends to depart as soon as as soon as she arrives. How long have they been married? Seven years now. She's a fine woman, a true lady. She sure looks like it. I was hoping to bid farewell to the Baron before he leaves. I'm sure he would appreciate that. He spoke highly of you before he went to bed. Ah, well that's nice, nice of him. He was glad you were willing to debate him at, the, at supper, even though he's sure the abbot will hold it against you. Well, Luther's work is worth debating, regardless of what the abbot thinks. The abbot is too conservative. I find it's best to ignore him. The baron is a patron of the abbey. Uh, it didn't. I didn't want to refuse him. Well, Luther's work is worth debating, regardless of what the what the abbot thinks. My lord certainly agrees, but he hasn't found many people who share that opinion in Tyrol or Bavaria. Tyrol. A county of the Archduchy of Austria in the Holy Roman Empire. It sits south of Bavaria, east of the Swiss Confederacy, and north of the Republic of Venice. Okay. Hmm. Earn Lorenz Rothvogel's favor. Well, we certainly <laughs> earned his favor, all right. Acted, acted honored at Lorenz's invitation to walk with him. Expressed a fascination at Luther's ideas. Addressed the Baron respectfully, and tried to turn down the Baron's supper invitation, engaged Lorenz in debate at, at dinner. Would it be fair to say I found the Baron's favor? It sure looks like it. Yes. We, succeed, we, we, succeeded, we, we succeeded at something, finally. It would. My lord, uh, my lord bade me... My lord bade me give you a token of his friendship in his absence. He says, he says it's a small thing compared to future commissions, but he hopes that you will wear it with pride. Hmm, what is it? A pin. What an extraordinary pin. Please thank the Baron for me. In fact, I'll wear it right now. Many thanks. 
I will keep it secure until I have clothing worthy of bearing it. Hmm. Something tells me that if we wear it now, then the abbots and the other monks at the abbey won't be too happy about it. And they will make some comments about it as well. So even so even more the reason to wear it now. As you wish, of course. Where has your master gone then? He went for a walk early in the morning. He didn't say when he would be back. In this rain. I hope he returns soon. The rain is turning it. The rain is turning everything to mud. That seems odd, given the weather. Not odd for him. My lord enjoys hiking in all sorts of weather. A little rain never bothered him. I hope that not nothing happens to him. Like an accident or something. I can sympathize. We Swapians enjoy... I can sympathize. We Swapians enjoy a good walk to nature, even in such conditions. The Baron seems to be quite an... Quite an... an Quite an, an unusual man in many ways. Well, I apologize for taking up so much of your time. Good luck, good speed, and I hope you can and I hope you can keep trying. It's no trouble, and many thanks. Until next time, Andreas. Oh, one more thing before you go. Did you see a short, surly-looking young man in a hat on your way up way up this morning? Uh, what was his name? The brat. Surely you don't wink. Surely you don't mean me. Ah, oh, that that can only be Martin Power. Me or him. Well, since we have this option, surely you don't mean me. Ha, <laughs> no. He was shorter than you, by two hands at least. Ah, oh, that, oh, that can only be Martin Power. He ran past me in the meadow as I was walking up the hill. He was quite in a hurry. Ah, oh, that, oh, that would explain my lord's missing rings. That son of a bitch. What rings are these? One gold, one silver, a handful of um, golden. Golden, what is that? Golden. Gold coins used as currency throughout the Holy Roman Empire. Though different standards exist for the golden in different regions, it is generally equivalent to the Florentine florin. Okay, so it's a currency, money. And a book the Baron was planning to give to the Abbey. A book? Historia Tassiae? I believe so, yes. Well, shit, that's... That's going to be... That's going to be serious, I think. I went to pack the... I went to pack the Baron's things and they were missing. The boy is known... The boy is a known thief. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if he's responsible for the missing rings. Yeah, I don't think that he would be interest, interested in the book, though. The rings and money, but not the book. I I doubt that he I bet that he can't even read. The boy is an own thief. It wouldn't surprise me if he's responsible for the missing rings. That would explain it then. Regrettably, he had ample opportunity for his theft. Yesterday I caught the boy with the hat, Martin, I suppose, peering in through the windows. Yeah, we saw it too, I think. I could have at, I could have uh, admonished him at, at the time, but, well, he seemed harmless. That's a shame. I hope the Baron won't, uh, won't be too put out. My lord is a man of, s my lord is a man of some means. He won't miss the gold or the rings. I do think he will be upset about the book. He was quite excited, he was quite excited for, for the abbot to see it. In any case, I must finish preparing the horses. It was good. It was good talking to you, Andreas. Of course. I hope. Th I hope this rain lets up for. I hope this rain le lets up for you soon. God willing. Until next time. Until then. Oh, Martin is going to be in deep shit now. But I still don't think that he stole the book, because he will. He won't care for the book. Because he can't read. Okay, well, let's go to the scriptorium. No one is chanting here. Uh, today. To the old Bailey. And the scriptorium.
Oh, this is wonderful. The rest of the, the rest of the Abbey is soaked and there is not a drop of rain in here. Good thing the Abbot had also replaced the roof uh, to the scriptorium and the library last month. Yay, lucky us. With the calefactory next door, we can stay warm while everyone else is cold and wet. Calefactory. A communal warming room in monasteries. Calefactories are useless. I think there's a typo there. Calefactories are usually attached to the cloister, but in Kiersao it is part of the old abbey and therefore connected to the old scriptorium. It keeps the monks warm and the library dry. Oh yeah, I was thinking here that the calefactory must be here as well because they want to keep the books and scrolls warm as well. That makes sense. Instead of bragging about our good fortune, you should think about your brothers and sisters and pray for their health and safety. The Abbot's foresight saved a, saved a lot of our work and protected what's in the library. The town hasn't fared as well. I'm sure they'll be fine. More importantly, if they are if they are not, I don't care. Yeah, I can see that. Brother Guy, your heart is harder than the stone of this floor. Huh. We have the grumpy old monk, but where's the nice one? Brother Piero? Haven't you seen him yet today? I did, before Brother Guy arrived. Brother Piero left to speak to the abbot some time ago. What? Why is Matthew ringing the bell? It can't be terse already. I pray it stops soon. Such a cacophony is an assault on my frail ears. It's not stopping. I suppose this means we are being summoned to the, uh, to the chapter house. God give me strength to endure this, to enjoy the rain. It's fifty, it's fifty feet, it's fifty feet, old man. You'll live. God give me the strength to endure this man. Okay, so they're going to check it out. It's still not stopping. What's going on? This can't all be because of the storm. I should see what's the matter. Ah, but now, how long have I been playing? Well, I think that we're gonna go and check out that what, that what has happened in the next episode. So, until then. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Pentiment.